Hello everyone, welcome back. Wait, let me try that again. Hello, welcome. This is my new setup. Wow, did I get a new backdrop or something? I thought it'd be fun to do a little intro like that. Welcome to my new setup. I should actually do a whole video on like the before and after of my makeup in my previous room and the setup I had there compared to my setup now because the hope was that, you know, I was doing all of this decluttering and minimizing of my makeup collection. And so I wanted to have like a really fresh start. But the issue is that here I actually don't have as much display space for all of my makeup. So a lot of it is actually just like in drawers behind me. I don't think you can see, but there's like a bunch of mascaras right there. And I don't want that. I don't want to just have thrown my makeup in drawers. So I need to get some makeup organizers. I will be continuing to sort of clean up and organize my makeup. And once I have that done, I'll do a little before and after. So you can see my new setup but that is neither here nor there. When it comes to today's video, I've gotten a lot of requests for makeup inventory videos and I've never done one of those because I felt like I was just in the process of decluttering all the time. So I'm finally at a space where I feel like I've gotten rid of a lot of products that I don't use anymore and it makes sense now to do an inventory video. And I thought, why not start with one of my favorite kinds of products, which is blush. And I know that a lot of people are talking about blush these days, thought it'd be kind of on trend. Let's just get into it. I'm going to talk about all of my blushes. Now I should note that my preference is for powder blushes. I actually used to prefer cream blushes. I used to prefer to apply them with my fingers, but I've sort of done a 180 and now I really don't like cream blushes and I much prefer powder blushes so that is what I own in the majority of my makeup collection. I did have a couple of liquid blushes but they, they go bad. Powder blushes don't really go bad and so I have decluttered I think all of my liquid blushes but let's hop right into it. Quick clip from the future if you enjoy makeup no buys, project pan, that is what I do here on my channel normally. If you like that kind of content definitely be sure to subscribe and you can check out more of my videos right here. Let's get into it. All right, so I thought that I would film it this way. I see a lot of videos where it's sort of a makeup inventory and they have everything like laid out on a counter like this. I guess I'll see what you guys like better if you prefer me to sit in front of the camera and talk through each individual item or if it's better to have everything laid out like this and talk through it this way. I just thought it might be simpler to have everything sort of on a black backdrop. But let me know what you think below. I have everything divided into two separate areas. I'm not really sure if you can tell, but we've got these items here. These are the ones Maybe I should have done my nails first. These are the items that I like, so I, I use these all the time. I really like all these blushes. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna move this one over, over here because I don't love that blush. There we go. Okay, these are the items that I use all the time and I really like, and these are the products that are sort of on the aughts. Within the next few months, I will probably have decluttered all of these. Either way, I will have made up a decision about whether I want to keep those or not. Whereas these ones are all products that I really like and a couple of them I've hit pan on. So you can see this one here. I've talked about this in a previous Project Pan video. I really like this blush. It's not appearing very well here, but this actually is more of like a coral color. It's a bit more orangey. And as you can see, I don't really have any orange blushes, all very, very pinky. And then I also have this one, which I've talked about in a Project Pan video and during the move it broke a little bit, but you can see that I've hit pan on that orange color there and that pink color here, it's not focusing very well. And also I hit pan on that bronzer there. So I use this one a lot as well. None of the other ones I have hit pan on, which is probably because I have so many blushes and so it obviously takes a while to get through them. I'm going to start with the products that I'm thinking about decluttering first and then move on to the ones that I love. So a couple of them I'm thinking about decluttering just because they don't show up very well. So this one I've spoken about oh, <laughs> in a previous video, the glass. You can see it, it's broken and I think that it's contributed to the product sort of drying out. It's really hard to get color payoff. Like it's, it's not showing up at all. So I really have to dig my brush in there to get any product and it's just not fun, honestly. I'll pick up that glass later. I do have this in two colors. I have it here as well. I will talk about that in a second. 
like this one. Maybe I should try, what do you call it? Like re-panning it and giving it a bit more moisture. I don't know if maybe that would help, but I'm just, I don't reach for it because the payoff is not very good at all. This is in the color Rose Garden. The next one is this NARS blush. Now this one actually used to be one of my favorites. My friend gave it to me. This is in the color, oh, it's upside down, Desire. This is one of those original really popular NARS blushes and it is not in great shape. I think something spilled on it in that corner there because it looks kind of purple. It doesn't actually affect the rest of the blush, but it's a really bright, really beautiful color. The reason I'm thinking about getting rid of this is actually because it's in such bad shape because of that there. And then also it's really sticky. So I tried to wipe this with just alcohol to try to get rid of some of the stickiness and it worked a little bit, but it's still, it's really not in great shape. I think like the plastic is breaking down or something. So that might be going soon. Although this is the brightest pink color that I have so I would be sad to see it go how bright that is there you go and also that NARS blush that is the one that I am actually wearing today it's not as easy to swatch a powder blush as it is a cream blush like this one so this is just an elf blush in the color pink lemonade this is fine the packaging is a bit broken so i've actually used up quite a bit of it as you can see but when i try to swirl it up like this it comes apart so i mean not surprising for one dollar three dollar blush or whatever this is but now i can't get it back figured out how to make it work but i really don't enjoy it i've had this for a long time Actually, that looks like it's a very similar color, but it's not as hot pink as the NARS one. It's more of a true pink. So this is nice on the cheeks, but I just, again, the packaging is breaking and because of that, I don't want to keep it. Okay, the next one, this is a very similar color, I find, to that e.l.f. blush. This is in the color Charmed. I use this with a stippling blush. And I don't, I don't know why I don't like this. I think I'm leaning away from like basic pinks and I want to go more towards oranges. But yeah, this just, this color just doesn't excite me. And then this NYX blush, this is a different formula and it is in the color Statement Red. All right, this is not a red. This is just like the other pinks. And the reason I haven't used it very much is because it like doesn't show up like I have to press so hard with the brush in order to get anything off of this which is really frustrating and just like this other one here they both are really hard to show up and honestly they're such a similar color I don't know I don't know if it's worth keeping either of them because they're super similar and they just don't show up so let me know if you've used either of those products and how you deal with that kind of issue so I'm going to start up here. This is another NYX blush. This is in the color Bourgeois Pig. I really used to like this, but again, it's hard to show up, but it shows up better than that other one. I think this is just an issue I have with powders because I've had them for so long and so they sort of dry up, though I do quite like that color. Next is a MAC blush. This is my palest blush, and honestly, when I first got it, I was like, that is never going to show up on my cheeks. It actually works very nicely. If you build it up enough, then it's fine. It works perfectly fine. I like this blush. I don't love the formula. It's very powdery to me, but it is nice to have a high-end blush because I don't have too many of those. This is in the color Angel and it is a matte. Okay, moving on. This is from Makeup Gallery, which I've never even heard of. I think my grandmother gave this to me. I've never seen this brand before. Really like the color. I've hit pan on it. I may work towards finishing this blush, not this year, in 2021 really like that one. Next is Milani Luminoso. This is just a classic. You know, it's it's beautiful. The sort of highlighty blush and it's a bit it's a bit orangey too. None of these are showing up on my hand. I'm sorry, but this is one of my favorite blushes for sure. Next one, this is from Kiko, which is a brand that can only be purchased, I believe, in Europe and Asia. I've never seen it anywhere in North America. Sunset Pomegranate and I really like how it looks. It reminds me of, I think, is it the Kosas blush? But I got this a number of years ago, so it was way before Kosas. 
a really nice color. I like the formula, but like I gotta branch away from this color of blush. Honestly, if I buy some more blushes, I will not be purchasing them in any of these basic colors again because I have so many of these like true pink, like baby pink colors. The next is this Fox in a Box blush from Heart Candy. There we go. I showed this before. I really like these two colors here. This one is just very dark on my cheeks, so I don't tend to use it as much. It's really nice to have four colors all in one. So I used to use this a lot and I've been trying to put it back into my makeup basket and it's got a magnet, which is pretty cool. Hard candy like doesn't exist anymore. So you know I've had this a long time. Next. Oh, I thought I had two of these actually. I thought I had two hard candy blushes, but this is in the color Mellow Wine. They've actually reformulated it and I've seen quite a few people talking about this exact blush lately, or not reformulated, like repackaged version. I don't like that it comes with a brush because like who uses that, you know? So this is one of those products that I actually picked up because so many people on YouTube were talking about this. And yeah, a lot of the products that I bought actually used to be purchased that way. I mean, still are, I would say but this is when I like first got into YouTube. So a long, long time ago that I purchased this and it hasn't gotten dry or anything. So very pleased about that. Also Milani Luminoso, I definitely picked this up because so many people on YouTube talked about it. I don't think the rest of them, I really had that issue. Maybe the NARS one, that's why I wanted it, but really this one was entirely inspired by YouTube. Yeah, just the formula is beautiful, even though it's just that basic baby pink, something about it, I really, I still love it, so. Yeah. All right, and then the last blush is this NYX Stick Blush. This is another one of my only cream blushes along with that e.l.f. one. And these are very, very similar colors. This is in the color T Rose. Oh, look at that flat. I think I used up a lot of this. Oh, not very much actually. So it's a deeper color than the other one, but I think I just apply it with a lighter hand. It ends up looking the same as this one and this one. Oh, one moment. These three, I would say all look very similar colors and I just, I don't need that. This one is my favorite. So I think if I had to keep one, it would be this one. So that is it. That is my blush collection. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see me do a declutter video, a declutter my blush collection video anytime soon, let me know. I'm happy to do that. But honestly, I feel like it'll be pretty obvious how it'll play out. Likely I will get rid of these blushes. Honestly, I'll probably get rid of all of them at some point. The question is just when, because I'm still trying to get some use out of them. The ones that are currently in my makeup basket are these three. I'm trying to just get some more use out of them before I get rid of them because I know that I eventually will get rid of these three. All right, welcome back. That was my blush collection. Now I should mention, I was just talking about my single blushes in this video. I haven't included any face palettes or blush duos, blush quads, anything like that. So I do have quite a few products where I have, actually that makes me wonder why I counted this and not other products because, well, it's like broken, but there are multiple colors in this. So I don't even know if this counts as a single blush. I feel like it does because it's mostly blush. Like it's one package thing together, as opposed to something like this, where it's four separate colors. But, oh man, my makeup is dirty. But anyways, I thought it'd be easier to just stick to single blushes in this video. So that is my blush collection. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please click the like button down below and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'm happy to do future inventory videos. People have been asking for those for a long time, but I just never felt like my collection was quite at the place that I wanted it to be when I started doing these. But I'm pretty content with my collection now. If you want a specific inventory video, such as eyeshadow or mascara or something like that, I am happy to do that. I'm not quite ready to do a full makeup inventory because there's just, there's still so much to cluttering to do in my collection that I know is coming in the future. I do do a lot of decluttering videos. So if you enjoy those, you can click here to watch them and I will do more in the future. If you have been watching my channel for a long time, thank you so much for sticking through all of my mediocre quality videos where it was subpar audio and video. I'm obviously using an actual camera right now, which I'm very happy about. And I'm just really excited for this next phase in my YouTube journey. I know that I am a micro YouTuber, but I honestly get so much joy out of filming and editing these videos. 
I moved downtown, so it's just like, before where there was constant construction, I thought there was constant construction, now there's really constant construction. But yeah, even if nobody gets anything out of these videos, I feel like I get something out of it because it's making videos about this stuff has really encouraged me to declutter my collection and work on my makeup empties and, and pan my products. And I, I think that without YouTube, without the part of YouTube where I'm actually filming videos and talking about it, I wouldn't be as inspired to do this. So thank you for being there and watching my videos. I think this is gonna be a long one, so I'm gonna cut it here. Let me know what videos you'd like to see in the future and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye bye Oh dear, was that for me? What happened? Oh my goodness.